Drew Breitbart. Bert Verleski's got about a minute and a half. <laughs> I had five minutes, but uh, by, by way of introduction, I'm the fellow who suggested that when Barack Obama went to Beth Bethesda for his annual checkup, the doctor should do a brain scan because there's obviously something terribly wrong with a guy who is more concerned with a Jew building a house in Israel than a Muslim building a nuke in Iran. He also claimed that he attended Reverend Wright's church for 20 years and then claimed he had never heard the man say anything objectionable. Now I've heard of people nodding off during a church service <laughs> But not 20 years of church services. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> the one guy in the administration I feel sorry for is Joe Biden. I mean, with 9.6% unemployment and a deficit of 94 billion gazillion dollars, how would you like to be sent out to sell the American public on the notion of recovery summer? I'm reminded that kings used to employ food tasters and mafia dons had their flunkies start the car in the morning while they stayed in the house listening for an explosion. I swear if Obama ever has occasion to visit a coal mine, he'll use Biden as his own personal canary. Finally, in 2008, not an hour went by when we weren't told how eloquent Obama was. But that was before we discovered that he never leaves home without his teleprompter. When asked a direct question, he turns into Porky Pig. I keep expecting him to end his press conference with, da -da -da, that's all, folks. The good news is that we somehow survived Recovery Summer, and now November 2nd, otherwise known as Recovery Fall, is just 37 days away. And as they say in Obama's hometown, vote early and vote often, and da -da, that's all, folks. Great. <laughs> now we're coming to the end just because we have to. I, think a lot I want.